Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Phases the Next Level. I'm your host, M. Valette Sunshine, and I'm glad to be here with you once again. So I wanted to say, first of all, that um, I am so thankful for 2018. Um, Phases the Next Level was established in September of 2018, and um, from September to the present, I can truly honestly say that I am excited about what is to come for Phases the Next Level and what has happened in 2018, just in that short amount of time. And so I wanted to personally tell everyone that I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for everybody who supports me sincerely, who travels with me and goes with me to places that um, I have speaking engagements or have events or whatever's going on. Um, I have some, some, some diehard, you know, supporters. And so that's just always amazing. And they're my sisters and they're my friends who has been my friends forever. And they continue to support me in the things that I'm doing that is good. So um, I'm grateful for them. Um, also so grateful for my mother, of course and my family who supports me to the core. And also my mentor, Reverend Joyce Dodd, who has been by my side since she agreed to be my mentor. 2018 was good, but 2019, bring it on. We ready. We are so ready for what God has in store for 2018. Um, he's given me some things and placed some things on my heart. He's brought some people into my life, crossed my path, new people, uh, my network, stream has built to the core. I mean, it's just, it's through the roof. And so, and it's important to have a, a strong network um, of people who support you, who are uh, vouching for you. Um, and so 2018 has, it's ended well. Um, I was a little, you know, skeptical about what 2018, you know, I'm sorry about what, about creating phases the next level and, and you know how it was going to turn out and you know would I have enough ideas and, and you know just really what was I going to do with phases and so now phases has become this umbrella and there's little entities under the umbrella that all are a part of phases that have really worked worked well um you know so I'm I'm thankful and that's just the beginning so you guys put your seat belts on Anybody that supports phases, get ready for the ride. Um, I, I know that a lot of times we don't speak about things that are interest to everybody, but you know, maybe one one subject may be interest of interest to you, and one may be of interest to somebody else, and that's fine. We'll just continue to have uh, important topics. Um, I wanted to also put out that um, we will be, um, I will be supporting Milo Rogers. And our newfound friend, Tina, who is in Ohio, who we did reach um, through Twitter and reach through um, HS, um, the HS interview with Myla. We have also reached um, people in Canada and Australia um, in regards to HS. And so Myla and Tina, who are both um, living with HS, are going to now... Um, join together from Oklahoma and Ohio through technology somehow, some way. And we're going to, and I'm going to support their efforts. Um, phases the next level is going to be heavily involved because Myla is one of ours and um, she needs as much support as she can get. But what we're going to do is we're going to have an HS, HS awareness. And in June, it is HS Awareness Month. And so you guys will be hearing a lot about HS through Phases the Next Level, through all of the social medias, from Ohio to Oklahoma to Canada to Australia. We will be talking about HS. And I hope that you guys will join me in supporting Myla Rogers in her HS endeavor. It's going to be big. Um, it's, it's really out of Myla, Myla's stepping outside the box. It's not anything that she's ever done before, um, but she's so excited, you guys, and we've got to support our own. She's young, and so um, it makes it a little harder, but she 
loves the Lord. She knows the Lord and he's going to bring her through this. And HS is going to be through the roof and doctors and nurses and they're going to, they're going to embrace what Tina, um, uh, Tia, sorry. I don't know if I called her Tina, but the name is Tia. What, um, they're going to, doctors and nurses are going to embrace Tia and they're going to embrace Myla and they're going to embrace this HS, um, movement and it's gonna they're gonna start finding um cures and they're gonna find medicines that work for hs it's gonna be big i'm claiming it for them and they're standing on it too they're praying to god they're staying believing in him and trusting him so this is like a step out on faith for them to um to have this awareness and to push it and to make it as big as it'll get um, I, I, we talked, we were on a call with Tia the other, just yesterday, Myla and I, and we're going to find ourselves in Ohio, um, doing an HS rally by June, we hope, or we're going to have Tia here in Oklahoma or wherever we need to be, um, to bring awareness to HS. So, um, all my nurse friends reach out to me, please. Let's talk about it so that you guys can be a part of that. Um, because it's very important and it's very real. And so I just wanted to get that out there for Myla. Um, 2018 is going to bring me, um, bring phases. Um, we have a lot of interviews coming up. We I have some speaking engagements that I'm so thankful for. And then people are just saying, wherever you go, I'll go with you. Just let me know. I'll go support you. And it's always an encouragement when you have a handful of, if it's nothing but a handful of supporters supporting what you do because I plan to take this as far and as high and as wide and as deep as the Lord allows me. I'm on a mission. Faze is the next level and Marva Brown are on a mission to be all that I can be and to help every person that I can possibly help that's in my reach. You know, I can only do so much, but whatever I can do, I'm willing to do it. And I'm talking about from drug addiction to illnesses, to depression, to happy times, um, from elevation to from from real down deep in the dark to elevating to the highest height of you, your being, you know. And that's what I always talk about is tapping into your higher power and digging really deep to find out what it is so that 2019 can bring you all that you deserve. But you got to go for it and you, can, and you can't give up. Like everybody doesn't support phases the next level. They could care less. Everybody doesn't care about what I'm talking about. They could care less. But guess who cares? I care and God cares. And I do have a handful of people that really care. So I'm going to continue to do what I'm doing. And I'm going to, you guys, remember this. I'm going to tell you, I told you because I'm not giving up. I can't get in front of people and say, you know, don't give up to strive for everything you believe in. You won't have these supporters, but you got to keep going. You're going to come into, you're going to come to some bumps in the road, but you can't stop. I can't go out telling people that and not practice what I preach. So, and then also tell your story. You got to tell your story. You got to tell your truth. So I'm going to be doing my testimony and I'm going to be telling my truth. Um, and, and so, because I can't ask people to do something I'm not willing to do. That's just my motto. Um, and so I'm just excited. I'm just excited. When I think about phases in the next level, I get so excited. And that, and that tells me that I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing, that I finally found it. It took, may have taken a while, may have taken this long, but guess what? I got here. And this is just, I promise you, the beginning, just the very beginning. So anyway, I want to encourage everybody to um, really take time for yourselves and figure out what it is in this life that makes you happy, that you're good at, that you um, you don't get, you don't ever get tired of doing it. And do it and go for it. But just remember, none of it is possible. None of it can happen without the Lord Jesus Christ or whoever, whoever your higher power is. I cannot make it. Phases cannot um, develop into this beautiful um, flower, this beautiful being without my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I put him first and all that I do and everything else will definitely fall in place. Um, I also wanted to, to brag a little bit. Um, tonight we were out um, and we were in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and we went 
And so I, well, let's back up. I had a Phases the Next Level partner with A Plus Barbershop to do a um, Keep Me Warm drive and then Stump Insurance and In The Cut Designs wanted to be a part of that. And they said, hey, you can have them come our way and will we want to partner with you? And so they did. And we got a lot of donations for the Keep Me Warm drive for foster kids and for the less fortunate adults. And so then we ended it and we took it. I was able to deliver to Concern and DHS, just as I said. But someone, a guy also, after the, after the drive was over, brought tons and tons of blankets to keep people warm. And so I have so many and I just kind of leave them in my truck in the back of my car to, um, just in case I run across somebody that needs them or, you know, whatever. So I happen to be in Tulsa and there are a lot of homeless people in Tulsa, y'all. And it's um, so sad. And so we came across some homeless people. One guy particularly was that was at a quick trip. And, you know, we, ha we, we have to be safe when we do that. So we kind of softly and kindly approached him and said, hey, you know, you're out here and, and it's cold. And do you mind if I give you a blanket? I have a lot of blankets to give away. He was like, yeah, you know, he was kind of like skeptical. But he said, yeah, and I handed him that blanket. And he was so grateful for that. It's cold. And sitting on that cold concrete just broke my heart. But I was able, phases the next level was able to go out and, and to give to a couple of homeless people this, e people this evening. And my daughter sees that. She's there and she sees it happening. And she's excited about giving. And so that's what we want to remember, to always give. It's always better to give than to receive. It's always better to help someone. It's always better to do community service. It's always better to give and to help and to be kind and to love. And that's what Phases is about. You can believe that. That's what Phases is about. So you guys, if you have any stories that you want to tell, I don't care if I've already talked about it. If it's drug addiction and you're, 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 you're just on the fence, you want to talk about it, but you're scared, don't be afraid. Fear is not of the Lord. Don't be afraid because guess what? You'll begin to heal and you will begin to heal others. I'm telling you, if we're reaching people in Australia, in a whole nother country, then just imagine who you can meet. And if we can touch and impact one person from telling our story, then we've done our job. So if you have a story and um, you want to tell it, contact me and let's talk about it. Um, I am praying about my yeses and my noes, you know, so we'll see if it if it's a fit for phases. And if so, then we'll move forward with it. But I'm excited about 2019 coming. I'm so thankful for 2018. I'm so thankful for um, all my supporters. I'm, I'm just thankful. I'm just a thankful lady right now. And so I just wanted to share with you guys that I want to say happy New Year's to everyone. Be blessed. Count your blessings. Never forget where you came from to where he's brought you. He's been just that good and we got to give him thanks. Remember, say your prayers, love one another, be kind and serve. Serve your community. Serve those in need because I promise it'll come back tenfold. You guys have a good evening. If I don't talk to you until after the first of the year, Happy, happy new year. God bless you. Good night.